Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this tutorial, we will discuss about the groups in crystal reports. So, we will see how we can define the groups, how we can format the groups and how we can delete the groups if required. So, let's go to the tool and see how we can do that. So, this is my crystal report where I have all these available objects like city, state, store, category, line, extended price and the sold at price. So here, if I want to insert a group, so I will go to the insert menu and inside the groups, I can click on edit groups option and here I can click on new. Let's say if I want to create a group on state. Now, if I go here in this, if I want to select the display name, so it will show as default but if I want to do some customization using the formula so we can write down the formula here to give the display name of the group and if I choose the default it will automatically take whatever value is coming from my source of the state column. Then if I want to design any hierarchy type so I can I can select the value from here either as a no hierarchy or the hierarchical group parent if there is any hierarchy available in my data source and now I will click on OK. As soon as we add the group in our report the two new sections will be added. The first one is the group header and then the group footer. In the group header automatically it will take the group name as the state which is coming from my data source. Now if I go to the page view here, I can see that now my report is grouped with the state column. If I want to see the group tree, I can click on this group tree and I can see that my report is now grouped with the state. So if I want to go directly to some group, I can click on that. So let's say if I want to go to the group DC, I can click on it. Similarly, if I want to go for New York, I can click on it. So this way you can add the new group in your report. Now let's see what all formatting options I have for the groups. So here I will go and click on this format section. In the format section here I can add any display name then the hierarchy type and if I go to the sort. So if I want to apply any sort on this group. So by default it has added the sort by state. But if I want to add any other sort, I can click on this add sort and then I can put the sort value into the group. Then in the general, we have the name of the group, then what color it should be and then the properties like hide, if I want to print at the bottom of the page, if I want to do the relative positioning. So all these options I can set under the general tab. Then I can go to the paging. So if I want to set up the page breaks for this particular group, so I can set up all these paging options here. Now let's say if I want to add more groups here. So what I will do, I will go and I will click on this edit group. Now I want to add a new group on the city. So here same way I can select the city and I can click on OK. Now I can see that I have two more sections which are for the group header city and the group footer city. So if I go to the page mode now, so now I have state and city groups in my report. So if I go to the group tree, I can see what all states are there and what all cities are there into my report. So I can simply traverse to any of the group and I can click on any of the state or the city to directly go to that into my report. So this is how you can add multiple groups into report. Now let's say if you want to move the group up and down. So how you will do that? So you will select the group and here you have the up and down keys. So you can simply move them up, you can move them down based on your requirement. And if you want to delete any particular group in your report, you can simply select it and click on delete. So this way you can add the new groups, you can delete the existing groups and you can do the formatting of your groups in the crystal report. So in this, tuto in this tutorial, we have seen how we can 
add the groups, how we can delete the groups and how we can format the groups in Crystal Report for Enterprise Tool. Thank you.